Uh, hello, uh, it's Carl. Uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, last night's sleep, um, actually about the previous few nights of sleep, um, including the night where I got no sleep at all. Um, what happened is my, my insomnia has worsened by an order of magni magnitude again. It does this every 11 to 13 weeks or 10 to 13 weeks on average. Recently, um, in the recent past, there was an, an, um, an episode where it worsened after 8 weeks. But the general pattern is that after every 10 to 13 weeks, it worsens by an order of magnitude. Um, this is not tolerance. Um, I think my tolerance to olanzapine takes uh, years to, to, uh, to, to build up tolerance to, to olanzapine. Um, and basically when it worsens by an order of magnitude, what was done in the past, um, we're talking uh, December 2021, I believe, to January 2022. That was the last time my medication was increased from 20 mg to lanzapine to 30 mg to lanzapine. Um, anyway, uh, as you guys know, I have been taking 30 mg of lanzapine for the past, uh, for the past five, four or five recordings. Um, with the exception of the previous two where I overdosed by mistake. Um, and as you know, I was sleeping um, a good five five, excuse me, five to five and a half hours on 30 milligrams of olanzapine and the, the other three medications that I take, the 1.5 milligrams of spiridone, the uh, 90 milligrams of meansurin and the 2 milligrams of clonazepam. So on that cocktail of 30 milligrams of olanzapine and the rest, I was getting um, a good five five hours of sleep for, for the, anywhere ranging from four and a half hours to five hours of sleep I was getting pretty consistently and then on the night that I didn't record my insomnia worsened <laughs> as fate would have it um, basically I uh, I took the, the same medications as always the 30 milligrams of lanzapine the 1.5 milligrams of spiridone 90 milligrams of answer and 2 milligrams of lanzapam uh, waited two hours because it always takes two hours for the for the medicines to kick in into, the, into their full effect went to bed and couldn't fall asleep and uh, I spent the entire evening just relaxing I was in a, a state of complete Zen you know I was very relaxed um, and I wasn't constantly checking the time like I was doing in the in the, in the previous recent videos uh, but I, I didn't fall asleep I did not fall asleep and uh, and anyway, then in the more recently, um, in the past two recordings, as you know, I, I took uh, 40 milligrams of lanzapine by mistake, and uh, I got four, four and a half hours and four and three quarters hours sleep respectively in the, the past two recordings. Um, so my insomnia has worsened by an order of magnitude again, um, and uh, I can't fall asleep on 30 milligrams, which is an issue. It's a big issue. So uh, anyway, I I got in contact with. Um, so there is a group, a, a non-profit organization that helps people like me um, who have uh, undiagnosed rare illnesses and uh, and so you know that sort of stuff, and uh, they're helping me out. I I can't really say how, and I can't really say who because I need to respect the privacy of the individuals, um, but. I I might um, have uh, got gotten some good luck at last. Um, the problem is the clock is ticking now because um, I I really am running out of time now. I'm running out of time because my insomnia is going to worsen again in the next perhaps eight weeks minimum to maximum twelve weeks, and uh, then then I'll be in big trouble, in very big trouble. So. Um, so yeah, basically, um, that's that's all I have. To, that's all I have to say, really. Um, it's it's um, unfortunate that this is happening, but not not unusual. I mean, uh, I always knew this day was going to come, where I couldn't sleep, um, and. Um, Anyway, at least there's proof, you know, that I took the medications online and that I slept 
such and such, you know, so many hours online. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, it sucks. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I don't know how to to close off the video. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Um, thanks for uh, supporting me. Um, and uh, and even the ones who think that this is anxiety and uh, think that I'm hypochondriac and think that this is, um, I don't know, some sort of attention-seeking bid or something like that. Um, I promise it's not. I really, I want to get on with my life. I have no uh, interest in, in seeking the attention of others. I just want to get on with my life and... Uh, because uh, I've been stuck for the past three three years and seven months, it's been pure hell. It's been pure hell, you know. And I I lost my job in September, and you know I, I've been getting worse and worse. Um, and yeah, you know it's uh, it's been tough. Anyway, that's all I have to say, guys. Thanks for watching.